Hello, today I'm going to show you what happens if you assign additional resource or resources to a task. For this example, I created one task with four days duration and in view resource sheet, I have John and Mary. Now, let's suppose that we assign John and Mary at once. So we need for task John and Mary. Okay, and we know that we need them. We are going to use resources, assign resources, and I will choose John and Mary, but first of all, I should choose task, not my project. Okay, now when I close it, you will see that John and Mary both are working 100% per day, which is shown here, okay, 100% here, and in task usage that they are going to work eight hours per day from Monday to Thursday. Okay, now let's go back here. I will erase John and Mary and let's say that I assign only John to a task. Okay, assign. <coughs> Everything is great, John is here. Now, let's suppose that after I assigned John to a task, I suddenly figure out that I need Mary as well. So in that case, I'm going to assign additional resource. What will happen? So now I have a John at task and I'm going to assign Mary as well. Okay, Mary assign. You will see that I will get this little sign here and when I click it I can choose between three options. First option which is default here is increase the amount of work but keep the same duration. Basically what are we doing here? We are choosing, we are answering the question why do we need Mary after we already assigned John? So first is increase the amount of work, but keep the same duration. It means that 40, uh, 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 46 hours are going to be enough, not only 32 hours from John, but uh, we need Mary to work at same duration 100%, because I assigned 100%, and that means that they are going to work together. And you will see here in view, in task usage, that I got the same result as if I assigned them both at once. So, like in my previous case. Okay, now let's go back. Let's go say that we are going to assign John once again. Okay, resource, assign resources, John and then I will close and I will assign Mary as well. Now, the second possibility is that I want to reduce duration but keep the same amount of work. So, in this case, I will, I will show you once again. I will remove Mary. Okay, I will remove her. And I will see that John is supposed to work 32 hours, eight hours per day, four days. Okay, now, when I assign Mary to the task, okay, when I assign her, okay, and when I choose reduce duration, it means that those 32 hours for John are going to be splitted between John and Mary, so the work will be done faster the duration will be shorter. So I'm going to put here reduce and I'm going to say close. You will see now that 32 hours remains the same, but duration was decreased from four days to two days. And when we go here in task usage, we will see that instead John works at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and uh, Thursday eight hours per day, 
John is going to work eight hours at Monday, Tuesday. Mary is going to work Monday, Tuesday as well. So those 32 hours are split between John and Mary and duration is shorter. Okay, now third option. Okay, four days. Let me now do the same thing here, John. Okay, afterwards, I will say Mary. And now, the third option is reduce the hours, the resource work per day, but keep the same duration and work. So it means that duration will be four days, 32 hours in total will remain the same, but what you will see here, John is not going to work 100% per day. Mary is not going to work 100% per day. So when we go to, uh, to task usage, we will see then uh, that those 32 hours from Monday to Thursday to, for John, in my previous example, eight hours, eight hours, eight hours, eight hours each day for John, is now split between John and Mary in a way that duration is not decreased, but they, they work less per day. So John work four hours per day, Mary four hours per day each day. So those 32 hours were per, will be performed in four days, but John is not supposed to work eight hours per day anymore. Okay, that is when he, we assign additional resource. But what if we remove the resource? What will happen? That, that is going to be explained in my next example. First of all, I'm going to assign John and Mary to a task. Okay, great. Now, let's say that I don't need, for example, John in that task. Let's go back to the task usage. You will see that first result is eight hours per day. So uh, in the very beginning, I decide that I need John and Mary to work full at the task. So both of them are going to work 32 hours in total. It means eight hours per day. Now I can say, okay, but I don't need John anymore. I can now also have three possibilities. First is decrease the amount of work but keep the same duration. It means that this task can be finished only if Mary works eight hours per day. We don't need John, this is default. And if I choose that, when I go to task usage, you will see John is removed and Mary remains at the task eight hours per day, 32 hours in total. Okay, now let's go back here. Now undo, undo, and I'm in my previous state. Now I'm going to remove John, but I will say increase duration, but keep the same amount of work. Be aware. Those 46 hours were supposed to be performed by John and Mary. So remember, 46 hours in total. Now, if I remove John, and if I say, okay, I need Mary, but I choose increase duration, but keep the same amount of work, it means that those 46 hours are going to be kept, okay, but duration will be extended since Mary is alone in that task. So increase, and you will see that I don't have four days anymore. I have eight days. So here, instead that John and Mary are going to work eight hours per day at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, since Mary left alone, she's going to perform uh, the task alone, and she's going to work from Monday to Thursday, let's say her part and John's part from Friday to Wednesday. So those 46 hours are, uh, are only for Mary, and Mary is supposed to work eight hours per day, so duration is at eight days. And last but not least, I can say I don't need John, 
And I will say, OK, increase the hours, resource work per day, but keep the same duration at work and work. So here, once again, I want that Mary finish that task in four days and that she work 40, uh, six, uh, uh, 64 hours in that four days. So that is basically what does it mean. It means when I say increase the hours resource work per day, but keep same duration and work, it means the duration will be four days and work will remain 46 hours. But what will happen here, you will see that Mary is over allocated. Why? Because if I go to task usage, Mary should work 16 hours per day because John is not longer assigned to that task. So it may sound confused, but uh, uh, a little bit confusing, but uh, you should know about that. When you add or remove resource to task, after you already assigned, let's say, one resource, you should choose why do you assign that uh, 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 resources afterwards. So what do you want to accomplish? Do you want the, uh, now I'm talking about assigning additional resource. Do you want to short the duration? Do you want just to increase the amount of work because you need more hours? Or you want to split the work among them in the uh, same duration, but in that case, they are going to work less per day. And if you remove resource, you can say, I don't need that resource. So the first resource, in my case, Mary, will work eight hours per day, and that is enough. The second is, I am going to uh, 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 put those work from John to Mary, and I'm going to increase the duration so she is not over allocated, or I can say, no, 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 the duration and the work will be the same, and Mary should do all the work. So she, at the same, uh, at the same time slot, let's say four days, she should work her work, work on her work, and John's work as well, which is shown in this last example. Hope this helps, and thank you very much.